Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So, I, I guess that's it. So, I guess we should just get to it, yeah? <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius for the month of... November 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. Interesting, guys. I'm connecting with your energies here. And I often, so what I do to help me with do that is I visualize the, the, the symbol for your zodiac sign, right? And I'm trying to envision Aquarius. Okay, I've got you there, but it's but the Libra symbol is kind of eclipsing it. I don't know if you guys have Libra in your chart. Some of you have strong Libra in your chart, or you're you're connecting with a Libra of some sort. Aquarius. Okay, I got you. That was weird. <laughs> Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. There you are, Aquarius. Why are you guys hiding? Why are you hiding behind Libra, Aquarius? Did something happen in Libra season that was pretty intense for you? Uh-oh. We've got a flyer here, guys. Interesting. So, Libra season, which we literally just came out of. Okay. So, Libra season might have... Um, well, you might have had a tower moment in Libra season. Um, and you could have been dealing with a Gemini. But what I'm getting here is there was a choice that needed to be made. Potentially between you and another partner, a lover, a soulmate even. But there was a, it could have also been a choice to choose yourself over yourself and your wishes. I often see it that way. With the lovers, um, a choice between vice and virtue. Virtue being a choice of to honor yourself rather than honor someone else's wishes. And there was an imbalance between give and take here. The scales were imbalanced. Libra season. Balancing the scales. Justice. I mean, this is the Six of Pentacles, but balancing the scales. So maybe the situation was not balanced at all and you finally came to terms with it or something happened during Libra season in which um, 
you know, you you were made aware of it. You became consciously aware of it. Aquarius, not Libra, Aquarius. Yes, Aquarius. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, Aquarius. One more shuffle. And I feel like Libra season was really big for you guys. Some of you, most of you, if not, I don't know. Whoever I'm connecting with, some of you were really affected by Libra season. Okay. Yep. Underneath the deck, you've got temperance. More balancing. Patience. This is also the card of Sagittarius. Patience. Whatever that tower moment was for whoever of you, you're needing to have patience now because things are being balanced out. We've got the Empress. Yeah. Fertility, abundance, healing, regrowth. We've got the Hierophant. My, my. What is going on, Aquarius? And the Three of Pentacles is underneath all of that. Self-mastery, okay? Building from the ground up is what I'm hearing. Refortifying your structure is also what I'm hearing, okay? You've got the Empress and the Hierophant here. Um... I feel like many of you could be getting downloads from your higher self. You could be taking instruction from your higher self in order to rebuild. Um, some of you could be getting pregnant. <laughs> some of you could be getting married because you're getting pregnant <laughs> or because you got pregnant. Oh, -ho -ho! <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I'm not trying to judge. That's just kind of, I just find that a little funny. Um, Balancing out there. I'm hearing there's there's some balancing out happening in accordance with your higher self with your higher wishes and You've got some really abundant and fertile energy around you to do so That is fantastic, but you're needing to have patience Okay Or at least someone is first set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month you've got Ooh, the Two of Cups. I'm hearing reconciliation. Um, I'm also here. you could be bonding with someone new. Okay, this could be a soulmate that you're coming into connection with. But also, keeping with the theme of the overall energy that I was getting here, this is balance between masculine and feminine within. This is union within, okay? Reconciling with yourself, even, you could be doing. Two of Cups is coupled with... Ooh, the Seven of Swords. Balancing out after dealing with deception, lies, cheating, backstabbing, stealing. Um, but this could also be a representation of the situation that was imbalanced that the lovers was talking about and the tower and the six of pentacles, the six of pentacles being in reverse. Okay. Second set of current energies for the first half of the month, the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, potentially a Leo mainly, or, I mean, you have, I'm sorry, you could, yeah, you have another fire sign because you have Sagittarius here. You have the Taurus here with the with the, the Hierophant, um, Taurus or potentially a Virgo or uh, an Aries with the Empress, okay? The Queen of Wands here is um, depicting someone that's magnetic, charismatic, um, and magical. Very attractive. Gets what she wants through attracting it, drawing it into her. Whereas her counterpart, the King of Wands, gets what he wants by going after it. Okay, Queen of Wands is coupled with... Ooh, the Queen of Cups. This could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Um, I'm hearing emotional integrity. Someone really could be attracting what it is they want, what they want through emotional integrity, through keeping their emotions in check, through knowing what it is that they're going through, knowing what they're feeling, being emotionally mature about the situation. These are two energy, these are two receptive energies, okay? So I really don't see anyone really going out there and getting what it is that they want here in association with Aquarius. Aquarius... You could, you don't have, you probably aren't doing that. Or you're connecting with someone 
that is embodying this Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups energy. And you, you could potentially be going after that person. If that's not the case, then you're embodying this energy and you're allowing things to flow to you. Okay? There's also an energy of um, allowing this to happen after dealing with the heartbreak from the past. After that tower moment that kind of put, put the kibosh on the situation. Okay? The challenge for the first half of the month, ooh, the Ten of Cups. You wanting this. But I think the real challenge is in finding a way to attract it to you. Ten of Cups is coupled with, yeah, the Six of Swords. The challenge is moving away to calmer waters in favor of attracting this Ten of Cups, this emotional fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment. The potential outcome for the first half of the month, you've got the Five of Wands. So there's conflict here. This is inner conflict. Yes, it could be conflict on the out external, but I really feel like it's more inner conflict, especially since you have temperance in the top, crowning the reading here. Um, this could be wanting to move forward and not knowing how or not being able to. Um Excuse me. Not really knowing how to handle a situation right now. Having opposing feelings about the situation. Having um, all these uh, opposing opinions around you by people around you dealing with the situation. The Five of Wands coupled with the Four of Wands. And what I'm really getting here is confusion, chaos, indecision, uh, opposing views on how to get this stability with the Four of Wands. Commitment with the Four of Wands. You have two commitment cards here, the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. I really feel like some uh, Aquarius, in this reading, whoever I'm talking to here, you're really working on manifesting a commitment. And you potentially dealt with a lot of deception in the past with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. Okay. So the first set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, you've got, oof, the Knight of Swords. This could be you, Aquarius. Could be also another air sign. Hmm. The Knight of Swords is coupled with the Magician. My, my. Someone is really in serious manifestation mode. Like, fiercely manifesting. Moving, or at least working on trying to move fairly quickly. Hmm. I would just... Be careful, because the Knight of Swords energy is can be very destructive. I want to say, be careful how you, the words you use in association with the situation. Whether you're coming out of a situation, whether you're dealing with a situation, or whether you're trying to manifest it, be careful of the words that you use, because they will affect your manifestation, is what I'm picking up here. Okay? Second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month. You've got the Ace of Swords. Boop. This Ace of Swords is coming out for a lot of people so far. This is clarity. This is knowing what you truly want. Under understanding what it is you want and how to potentially how to get to it. Ace of Swords is coupled with justice. J Libra is all up in your space, Aquarius. <laughs> But Libra season, I really feel like Libra season really brought you some clarity. The Ace of Swords is an aha moment just like the Tower is an aha moment, or potentially. And the Tower was one of your flyers, Aquarius. So you are, so you potentially, coming out of this Libra season situation, you really could be manifest something fiercely, like... Balls to the wall, no hold barred. 
just be careful of that shoot first, ask questions later energy because that will be very destructive. Okay? The challenge for the second half of the month, you got the Knight of Pentacles. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you, all Knight of Swords with your manifestation. Yeah? Well, your challenge, take it easy. Take it slow. Build it step by step, piece by piece, brick by brick, okay? Have patience, Aquarius, or someone connecting to an Aquarian, whether you're, whatever. You're the cross watcher, yeah? Knight of Pentacles is coupled with, ooh, the King of Swords. So this could be you too, Aquarius. Could also be another air sign, of course. But your challenge is to be, is kind of to be detached, really. And look at the facts of the situation and build it piece by piece, brick by brick, step by step. Okay? The potential outcome for the second half of the month, you got the world, completion, endings of a cycle. It's excellent. I like to see that. The world is coupled with my, my, my. The Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles came out as your flyer in the reverse. So to me, this is saying the scales are becoming balanced. This, uh, the scales are becoming balanced with Libra. With justice. Justice is the card of Libra. Libra season. Wow. Wow. An ending, and also I'm getting with the world and the Six of Pentacles, this is an ending of a situation that was imbalanced. And now balance can be restored into your life. Okay? Excellent, Libra. Not Libra. Good Lord. Aquarius. I'm so sorry, Aquarius. <laughs> Excellent, Aquarius. Let's get into your Oracle guidance here for the month of November. From the Oracle of Unicorns, Aquarius, 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 Ooh, Aquarius. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius. I know that's right, honey. Okay, here we go. Woo, there it is. Good Lord, I'm just going to leave it at that. I am just going to leave it at that. Well, no, I'm not, because I'm going to give you this one, too. Underneath the deck, you have possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. I like that. But you see what came flying out here, Aquarius? Let me just show you. Patience, honey. Oh, and what's crowning your reading, Aquarius? Patience, honey. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I know many of us, so many of us are like, can you just stop it with the patience bullshit? Well, it's not bullshit, okay? Patience. Pause before you take action. Hello, Knight of Swords, Magician. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. And why do you need to be patient? Because you've got all of this abundant, fruitful energy here with the Empress. And you have the universe on your side, too, with the Hierophant. That being um, rebuilding in accordance with your higher self, your higher wishes, okay? Wow. All right, Aquarius. So there it is. All in all, I think this is a really great reading for you. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this resonated with you. And I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful November. Happy Thanksgiving to all of those of you out here in the United States. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of December. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.